Hello, everyone. I forgot what this was already, and I was not prepared to push no button to do that. Because I forgot. So, hold tight. Just stay looking away, everybody. Don't look over here yet. Don't look over here yet. Don't look over here yet. Because it's not time to. So, don't do it. Okay. Look now. Over here. Look over here. Look over here. There, here. Period. there we go. Hi, everybody. This is not going to be a train wreck because I'm running it. Yes, it is because it always is because I'm running it. So it's going to be a train wreck. And guess what? You're going to enjoy every bit of this train wreck. Welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real and the tea in reality, and where you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm your girl, Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea, because you know I love me some tea. Her. I don't have anything to drink. Again, another train wreck. I didn't even go grab it. Had the chance to get it. Didn't do it. But what I do have is mine cup mug with me always handy beer, 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 beer. Ooh. and we have some panels almost full of cup mugs but that's okay you can get your cup mug at lanajuicecreations.etsy.com that link will be in the description below and uh, uh, we do ship internationally and domestically so there are no excuses so well maybe a little if your country's on fire under, under fire or underwater then there are some excuses, and our thoughts and our prayers go out to you and your family. We hope for safety and hope that everyone is gets back to a sense of normalcy very, very soon. Um, we're praying for all of you. But once you do get to that normalcy and you're ready to celebrate again, celebrate with some cup merch. Hello? Period. Well, I'm David Healy, and I don't have a cute intro, but I do have a cute shirt. Um, I decided to wear my Ivana drink shirt, so... There she is. <laughs> and speaking of I want to drink, I want to drink my water. So I have water. You sure. Purr. Purr. And hi, I'm Logan Murphy. Say something gay. Gay. I am drinking Coke Zero, and I'm not making a huge deal out of it today. Wonderful. <laughs> and hola, I am Eduardo, the Mexican representative of this podcast. I'm here to talk shit again. I finished my teeth and now I'm drinking water. Yay. Work. We love that for us. And we are here for our Instagram review of Down uh, Drag Race Down Under. This new series is about to start. We're about to watch it. We're going to have a good time. Hopefully it's going to be a good season. We're, we're, we're fingers crossed. But to help you get in the mood and get even more excited about Down Under, we're doing our Instagram review. And we, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to sit here and say, as the person who saw all the pictures, I think they're pretty good. I, I'm I'm not mad at at what we got going on here. So I think it's pretty good. But y'all be the judge of it. Well, Logan is the judge of it. So... You'll tell us what you think in the in the descriptions. Y'all tell us in these comments below. Y'all tell us what you think. But before we jump into it, we got some things y'all need to do. Hit the subscribe button on this channel and all of our other channels. All of the links to all of our channels will be in the description below. Click that. Follow us on all of our channels in the network. Also, our audio podcast links are down there as well. So you can follow us if you need to check us out on the go. And our Patreon links is down there as well which we have most of our look early access to most of our look over here, um, including this one, maybe. Um, and um, all an ex exclusive content that is strictly from all four channels, just for the Patreon members only. So check out our Patreon, do those things. And uh, yeah, thanks. We're going to get right into it because we don't want to hold y'all for too long. And we got a lot going on. I, I don't want to push the buttons. So Logan pushed the buttons because I always picked the wrong one. And I don't want to pick the wrong one to jump right into it. Period. Yay. Thank you. Done. I can't do the leaning back. There we go. No. Okay. I've rotated myself because my chair <laughs> rotates. I'm ready to do 
nothing and everything this episode. Yay. Oh, I, I I will even keep the scores, Logan. You don't have to do that. Oh, I had I had it ready. I was ready to do. I was ready to do so. I, I, I understand, Steve. So. You're the judge, and all you have to do is sit your pretty little head back and judge today. I got it. Period. I'll take it. Sure. Thank you. So. Twice a year where I don't do all of the back end stuff and I let Lana do it because I can't. Absolutely, and it's absolutely chaotic when I do. So sorry everyone. I'm but excited. I'm excited to see this look these looks because I was very happy with how the promo turned out. Um I was gonna suggest originally to see if y'all also want to do a Michelle look because she's hosting for the first time. But that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> that would be funny though. That would have been funny. But Logan, you know the rules. But for those who have not, maybe know the rules. Are we doing a three, two, one sketch? Yeah, we'll doing? do three, two, one, zero. Someone okay. will get zero points each round. Someone will cause... get zero points this time because we do have four looks <laughs> per queen. So. And who did the fourth look come from, Lana? Um. I'll let David tell you who the fourth look came from. David? <laughs> who said, who uh, gave us the fourth look, David? For the most part, the cast of Drag Race Down Under Season 4 <laughs> gave Yay. us uh, oh, their God. looks. We do have three queens where uh, we had a, substitu a substitute queen step in. The okay. same queen picked all three looks, so that was very kind of them. Um, is it but Chloe? It is Chloe Clark. Yay, yes. Chloe! Friend of the pod. <laughs> Yay, yes. Chloe! We love her. So her. We got three looks from Chloe. The rest are from the cast down of Drag Race Down Under Season 4 themselves. So we're very excited. We're very, very excited. Yay. So we're, um, let's get started. We started in alphabetical order, just like you had it. And so we're going to start with Brenda Bress. Come on, Brenda. Brenda. All right. So, look number one. Ooh. Look number two. Ah. Look number three. Ooh. And look number four. Oh, wow. Not me channeling my inner Jimbo just now. Right, that was very much Jimbo. Yeah, it, okay, can I ask a clarifying question? Yes. Which one is she in the third one? I'm guessing the one in the purple. That's what yes. I was guessing. All right, I'm going to go off of that. Thank you very much. Because mm -hmm. the one in the middle looks like milk. I have, I have no idea who the other two are. I'm sorry, I'm not that first in drag in uh, down under drag race queens so i don't know or australian queens period but Her. let's talk about these looks i think this is this hold on i want should we take the logo off because it's blocking it's sure uh, might as well okay but um yeah i thought this was so different like all four looks are her, but different? I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of rocks with it, honestly. I think this is a really good package. It shows her in, in very different elements and even got a performance look, so I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. Yeah, I agree. I, I got a lot of what I was hoping to see from Brenda on her Instagram, and it was a lot of camp. It was a lot of humor. It was a lot of host. Um, so, yeah, I just the vibe that I'm getting from her is, is really working for me. And I love a, I love a queen that is not afraid to pad to the gods or have accessories to the gods. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got a lot of that from her on her Instagram. So I'm very excited for Brenda and I'm happy that she's on team David. Or yeah, Brenda is booked and busy. That's what I, could tell immediately from her Instagram. It's just a lot of pictures of her doing like several parties or hosting. And so clearly she's a, 
really good host and she clearly has right. a style like watching her instagram she clearly has a style that like she likes to put different flavorings on top of it and like i am really interested to see how this style will translate to other challenges or to other like themes on the categories i feel like she's really fun really interesting and i'm really excited to see her uh yeah i just she's fun she's fun and i'm enjoying it like i enjoyed watching her instagram Yeah, I think Brenda is very fun. I'm getting a little bit more like old Hollywood inspiration than I originally anticipated. And I'm liking that. I'm getting a little bit more like glam, but like old school glam. And I like that a lot. Um, it's very different from what I got from her in her promo. And I'm not mad at that whatsoever. But I do have my results. Okay. I do have my results. So, um, based solely on the fact that I can't see the full look very close up, uh, my fourth place is going to go to look number three. Um, my third place is going to go to look number two, because I do enjoy a Say Something hat moment. Um... My second place is going to go to look number four. There's ex exuberance and elegance and all of those lovely things. But to what you said, David, this figure in look number one is absolutely incredible. And that is what I'm going with today on this occasion. Mm -hmm. Eduardo gets the three Yay. points. Yay! Finally, good. I start this off well. Yay. I love a say something hat, David. And I love a say something well. hat too. And yeah. you know, I was like, I was like no, dang it. None of none of these surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> I was to go pick that hat. I was like, when I saw that hat, I was like, dang it, that's a good hat. That's it's, a good it's hat. So good. I, love I would that. love that one. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. Takes that takes balance and skills. It does. It's good. And I it's do good. like if, if well, Brenda you. is in purple. If mm -hmm. Brent, Brenda, I'm so sorry if you're not the, the, the queen in purple in this photo. Um, I'm going to go off the assumption that you are in this photo. You look great. You look great, gal. I just want to see more of the look. That's all. Mm -hmm. And I did I did try to figure out which one earlier today. And I I wasn't sure. But yeah, I did think it was a purple. I, I don't know your face well enough at this point. But I'm going to learn it very soon. Well, and that's. <laughs> That's the other thing that I'm noticing in all of these photos is that she does do some different things with her makeup. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to see that mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm excited for Brenda nonetheless. She was the first Kinda one to you. submit a look. So, period, Shout Brenda. Out to you, Brenda. Yes, uh, thank thank you, you, Brenda. Brenda. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. All right, let's keep it moving to our next person. And that is Freya Armani. Period. Period. All right. Look number one. Oh. Oh, I can't sit look, back for these. Okay, hi. Look uh -huh. number two. <gasps> Pretty. Oh, I love. Okay. Look number three. <gasps> oh. Okay. And look number four. Okay, is she on my team? <laughs> I don't know. I can't is remember. Is she on my team? I'm gonna go look while y'all while y'all talk about that. I'm gonna go look at whether I draft her. I hope I hope mm. I did. I like the switching up of how how they're uh, on the arranged. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I definitely kept yeah. it moving. I was like, I didn't want to keep it the same thing all the time. That's cute. But yes, this, these looks were great to me. I enjoyed going through her Instagram. It, she didn't have a whole lot of pictures. I think she scrubbed maybe some. It seemed like she did, mm. but the picture she had was. Good. I was like, oh, what? Freya? Okay. Don't. I'm, she looks so different in so many different pictures. I was like, is this the same person? I had to go back and make sure that this was the same person because the last thing I want to do is send somebody another picture in that ain't the person. And then everybody jump on me like that wasn't even the person who you sent in that look from so i ain't want to do that, I mean, that but i happened before so yeah uh, <laughs> i did it i did it I did. oh was that you oh i genuinely didn't yeah. remember who it was 
Yeah, I did it. I sent in the look that, that they styled. Long, I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's fine because I was shading myself as we went along with it because I didn't want to send in a look that somebody styled and it was the look that they styled and it was their work. It just wasn't them. So I don't want to do that no more. So I was paying attention this time. But she is, I'm going to use your word, Logan, a little chameleonic. Like she mm -hmm. just can make her, she's like a shapeshifter. She can change up some stuff and look different in every picture. So I kind of love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, th I think there's a level of polish um, that I'm really enjoying from her. Like all of her looks are crisp and clean and uh, they have interesting silhouettes to them. So I'm, I'm excited for her. Like I already liked her in the meet the Queens, but going through the Instagram she was one of the ones that I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm even more thinking you could be a contender in this because her looks are there. Her looks are there. So I'm excited to see how that translates to the show. Yeah. When it comes to looks, the way I would describe it is versatility. Like there's a lot of like, she does everything and she does everything pretty well. Like she, she, she is a jack of all trades when it comes to looks. Like she's able to change up her silhouette and change up what she's going for and still look like herself and look good and polished every single time. And I really like the pictures that we chose because I feel like they really give you the whole gamut of who Freya is and what her style is. And like, I, I really love all of these four pictures together. I think they just tell the perfect story here. Okay. <sighs> the problem is all of these are good. Uh, They're all yep. really good. That's the point. <laughs> I know. Okay. I have made my decisions. Okay. As much as I really, really, really like it, my fourth place look is going to be number two. Um, I just, honest to God, I want to see the shoe. I want to see the mm. full shoe. I just, uh, the composition, I want to see the full shoe. So that's that's going to be uh, fourth for me. My third place is going to go to look number one. Um, I think it's a really pretty dress. I think she looks great. Um, I love the, the little stoles coming off of the back, but I like the other two a little bit more. Um, my second place is going to be look number four. I really like the composition of this photo. Whoever picked this, if it's one of the three of you, know that I like some cool composition and I like some fun background things that go on with a look too. And I like all the color morphing that's going on here. Whatever lighting she's using, um, to backlight, to backlight herself is really, really cool. But this third look really is standing out. I, I love big pants. Big pants are always going to be a plus for me. Um, and I, sh I think she looks really cool. So, yeah, my first place is going to be look number three. Okay. Yay, Lada! Baby. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I love that. That was the one that stood out the most to me. I was like, yeah. and I went through the carousel because I was like, that wasn't the first picture uh -huh. in the carousel. But I went. I was like, "Oh, oh, I like the composition of this. It's just that." Where's up the that full wall. shoe, David? Um. Well, she actually uh, <laughs> submitted that um, uh, as one of her. She sent in three looks. A um, period. So I wanted okay. to. I wanted to pick one of hers that she sent mm -hmm. uh, just to make sure that those had more representation. Oh, I love that. She sent in a different version of that that was even more close up. But I really mm -hmm. like the look, so um, I, I like the look. I like the look too. I just I want to know what's going on with the yeah. shoe. That's mm -hmm. all. I think it's a boot, like yeah, I, think so too. I, think I don't it's know. A boot too, yeah, you can see the top of yeah. it, but it's still good. Mm -hmm. It's still good. And that look she sent in too. That's that's a pretty gown. Mm -hmm. That is a pretty mm -hmm. gown. Look, that was the uh, the uh, premiere night or the. Um, yeah, you it was like press. Oh, that was her premiere yeah. night press, look? Press tour. Yeah. Press yeah. Tour. Press oh, work. Press tour. Okay, work. Mm -hmm. By the I way, Lana, a lot of it. Huh? do you get kind of Aaliyah vibes from the pick that you That is exactly in? why I picked okay. it. That mm -hmm. is exactly yep. why I picked it because I was I like, got a little bit of it too, yep. 
I was like, it's giving me a Leah very much. That's just the fall for try again video. Like, mm-hmm. and like in the first video, the first video, video, the first picture that was in the carousel, I was like, mm. oh, that's pretty. But she was like standing straight up. And I was like, it's mm. cute, but it's like something was off about it. But then mm-hmm. she I went through it. I was like, oh, that's that's making a statement. And I love some that's... cool posing and composition and, and cool pants. Like, yeah. And like you said, the cool yeah. pants. Love the, the pants. pants are what do- <laughs> the pants are what did it. But Eduardo, I love yours too. Like the mm-hmm. background on all of it. Like that is those are that, that's like the art kid in me, like the art history person in me, like just loving composition and shit like there that. You know. Like you know, mm-hmm. like we know, obviously. Mm-hmm. And we, David, know. Love yours we know also. Uh, this yeah. is not a shit on David's best, I promise. <laughs> I love it. I do really no, like it. It's really too. good. I thought it was a good group. Also, I thought about using my tie here because I have a special Ooh. rule for my tie in this one. Um, I okay. thought about using my tie here, but I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna okay. save it. Um, I think we should save it. This is this, yeah. this is a good. There's some good ones coming up the road. I when I thought about it, I definitely did because Miss Freya is turning yeah. the party. I'm very upset. She is not on my draft team, but she mm. is on Team Lana. So you know, work. I like her. I like her. Okay. Yes. Let's keep it moving. Period. To, to someone on my draft friend. team. Period. <laughs> Look, to someone who follows us now, period. I want to say she follows Thanks, us on Twitter. Thank and she Dana follows Twitter. the correct accounts now. <laughs> right. Oh, I, I have to tell this story because I think it's so Please. funny. So, <laughs> so Karna went and followed um, Lana and David. And we um, I had a screenshot one day in our group chat. And she had followed someone with almost the same username as me. But only with one N. And that's why I always say Jim Leader Logan with two N's. Because the first one has been taken for so long. And I was like, yeah, that ain't how it ain't anywhere close. <laughs> but thankfully, David told her. And uh, <laughs> I got you a follow several out. days later. So <laughs> thank you, Karna. I appreciate Here it. Thank you, Karna. Um, we love you. We love you. If you want to follow me on Instagram, too, you know, there it is right there. Oh, I'm already followed on Instagram, I, I, too. We already know that, David. We already know <laughs> David, we know. Yeah. We know. We know I'm glad I don't <laughs> have know. to be the one that gets testy today, and all of you can just fight. I love it. <laughs> it only <laughs> happens twice a year, but I love it. But Karna is okay. great, and we love her, and we can't yes, wait to see on the show. Excited. And these looks, I'm happy with it. So let's Ooh, check it out. Okay, mm-hmm. come on. Yes. Let's check it out. Oh, bitch. Look number one. Okay. Diva. Oh, <laughs> look okay. number two. Mm hmm. Look number three. Which I'm going to assume is at the same event that uh, Freya was mm-hmm. at her. Ooh. Look number four. Mm-hmm. Now someone here knows me. Unless it's unless it's Karna. I'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. What can I say? All four different looks. It's the range. It's the variety. It's I don't look, Karna, baby girl. I don't know what you come, what bag you gonna come out on on the show. I have no idea, and that excites me. I don't know what you gonna do, and I can't wait to see it. Um, it she can be glamorous. She can be, you know, uh, she can give us a a bodysuit moment with some cute jackets and things of the, you know. She can give us the pretty pretty dress. She can give us. I just think she can do. She 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 can come out of any bag she wants. And I'm excited to see what bag she comes out in on the runway. So I'm excited for Karno. Not gonna lie. Me too. I I think she's she's gonna be kind of a dark horse in this competition. I think she seems like a lot of fun based on her Instagram. Um, just the whole variety that we got. I was I was really digging it, especially her looks at your body, because I'm loving that from these queens. Um, I like that she has fun and she can do like have cool edits on her photos too, and they still look really stunning. So I'm actually really here for Karna. Um, she did not have my favorite promo look, and I said that, but I feel like I'm I'm standing corrected at this point. Like once I've gotten to see all of her Instagram, so I like her. Yeah, Karna really is just so interesting and so fun when it comes to her looks. Like, she brings such, like, there's not a lot of pictures on her Instagram, but there are ones that are there. There's a lot of, like, 
polish from the very beginning. Like there's a lot here and there's a lot of like, I see a lot of potential and a lot of great things here. Like there's such a great diversity. There's like, she just has fun with the looks. And I just love a queen that just likes to have fun and does just whatever she wants and likes to dress the way that she wants and just has her Instagram just to have fun. And that's the way I feel about Karna. She just has fun with her Instagram and her with her looks. And I just hope that she brings that energy into the competition. Like, I just want her to just have so much fun in the competition because if she does, I bet she can do incredible in the competition. Uh, and I have a request, Lana. Can we go back through these photos? Because I want us to, like, really focus on her face. She really knows how to paint that face. Like, I'm so impressed with Oh, yeah. Look at that mug. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty. Yeah, I love her face. Okay. (sighs) Okay, here's the thing. I thought about using my tie again. But actually, after going through the photos again, I have made my decision. So... Upon reflection, Mm -hmm. I will be giving my fourth place to look number four, simply because it kind of just looks like a tube wrapped around her body and some heels. Despite me loving the composition (laughs) and the CGI of this photo, Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it fourth place. Uh, Third place is going to go to look number three. Um, I love the hair. I love the dress. I think she looks stunning here. I just like both of the other looks better. And actually, Mm -hmm. my first place is going to be look number one. And my second place is going to be look number two. So in order on this occasion here today. Okay. Yay, David! Wait, you said look number two was number two, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, got it. Corner girl, I'm sorry. (laughs) It's a cute look. I like it. What did you mean about somebody knows you well? Karna's picture. Karna, but after reflection. (laughs) But I want more look. It's a fun photo. It gave me like Storm from X Men a little bit. Yes, that Mm -hmm. is exactly what it gives me. Unfortunately, it is look over here. It is not CGI photo and background over (sighs) here. So I'm sorry, Karna. I feel really bad. She's That's specifically why she liked the the photo. She right. thought it was a really oh, fun edit. David. So no, it's cool. It's cool. David, are you trying? But to you liked it, it though. No, but I you do. liked it though, and that was I the do. thing because I thought that's what your. Before we went through it again, I was like, "That's where he's going. That's where they are going yeah. in this one. They are going on that one because these it that's what they like." But I think it was the reflection and oh, going I was back, back and forth again. on the other ones. David was mm-hmm. always going to be number one for me the moment mm-hmm. I saw yeah. it. Like that is a gorgeous That's gown. A gorgeous mm-hmm. dress. That yeah. is a gorgeous. Absolutely. That is a gorgeous gown. Yeah, I really um, like your looks. So good in it. I was going to say Lana's. Lana, I is this her promo or not promo? Her no, press day or press her day. premiere? Yeah, I, I saw. I did, you know, I realized it after I picked it because, like, I was like, "Is this press?" And oh, then I, I was like, enough. "Oh." It is press, but I was like, oh, well. by that point, I was too tired to go change it. I was like, no, thank you. Yeah. I'm not looking through another picture. But <laughs> I, think I thought she looked like Lucille Ball to me. Too. Oh, yeah. Hmm? No, she she really gave me does. very much Lucille Ball in that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I love Lucille Ball. Mm-hmm. But and Eduardo, yours is so cool. Like, I don't even know. Yeah. Like, it's very interesting angular movements in the best way. Like, I... Not well, yeah, it's a I was just living. Sort. I loved it. Her. I loved it. But Her. all right, let's keep it moving. Who we can't lazy. afford to waste time. We got to keep it going. <laughs> lazy Her. Susan, lazy Susan is here, and wonderful. I think we'll be impressed. Okay, look number one. I'm sorry, you said this was lazy Susan. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. Lazy mm-hmm. Susan. Yeah, like There's I said. There's some good ones okay. here. Like All I right. said, keep it moving. All right. Look number two. Oh. Okay. Look number three. Again, la- Lazy Susan, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And look number four. 
Welcome to who the are you? Who the who <laughs> the, the are you? Who are who you? Team David is who you are. You're Team David, Lazy Susan. Yes. <laughs> who the fuck did we meet in the Meet the Queens? I have no idea. But when I went to Instagram, I was like, "Who is this person?" Because baby girl, I was so impressed, and I was like. It was still so many more pictures we could have chosen from Lazy Susan's catalog. It's so good. I was like, did I take a nap on Lazy Susan? What? Hold on. I'm usually very woke in these moments. But I think I took a very long hibernation nap on Lazy Susan, and I'm very upset. This is your Bernie moment. This is my Bernie. I, I slept <laughs> on... Because you took a nap on the lazy Susan. I took a nap <laughs> on lazy Susan. Around. It was the whole joke she was trying to make, David. It was too comfortable. Uh-huh. I took the whole nap and fell asleep and it. missed it. But baby, this is every picture that came in. I was like, "What?" Because I picked last. I, I waited till everybody picked, mm-hmm. so I picked last, and I was just like, "Whoa." Oh my god. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I was like, okay, let me get on this Instagram real quick. And I went and I was like, uh-huh. whoa. Yeah, I don't blame you. Well, but uh, these are so good. Right. Lazy Susan. Yeah. I don't know what to expect from her. She has just proven me. She has just given me the biggest question mark I've ever had going into a season. I have no idea what yeah. she is going to do. And I am super excited. Super now, I know, but she probably can't pull off some of these looks in the time span that they have on the show, so I'm not expecting all of it. But even if we get some of it, I'm sure we're gonna be super impressed. I, I'm, 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 I'm lazy, Susan. You have proven me wrong. I, my eyes are open now. I'm, I'm waking up. I'm waking up. Yeah, I. I was always loving Lazy Susan. Like even after Meet the Queens, I was like, mm, "I'm getting finalist." Right now, after going through her Instagram, I will be shocked if she's not a finalist because, first of all, she seems very well rounded. And a lot of times, like people who give us camp and humor, like they're they're often just lacking with the looks. She's not. <laughs> she's not. So I really am not worried about Lazy Susan. I'm so impressed with everything she had on her Instagram. It's so much fun. Uh, Probably my favorite Instagram that I went through. Lacey Susan truly is an artist. That's the way, like the best way I can describe it. She's just an artist. She's so creative and so out of the box. And she has so many like looks that are just so interesting and fun to look at. And her makeup is amazing. The things that she can pull off are out of this world, truly. Like, I, I, when I saw her promo look, I was like, ah, this is fine. But when I saw her Instagram, I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. She, I think I'm most excited about her out of everyone. I think I am most excited about Lacey Susan based off just the Instagram. And also, Lazy Susan is a low-key kind of attractive, too. <laughs> so, Why am I not surprised that David is... Uh, please. Well, that's only because you... I, can't I was like, only because you ain't go through the Instagrams yet, but when you see certain people, I've, I, I already scoped you know out what? a few. That's your type. Hold I'm on. already <laughs> saying that. Hold on. No, you can't do it now. We're still in the middle. No, 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 no. But I, yeah, I see it. I opened it, and after I give my my rankings, I will look. Okay. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't know who the hell this queen is, and <laughs> she shut me up. So sorry about anything I said in the Meet the Queens, uh, Miss <laughs> Susan. Um. Yeah. No. This is this is. Uh, yeah, I'm using my tie. I I have no choice. I literally I cannot decide between any of them, but. I will say that my rules for this tie are that I will be giving two looks, three points, and I will be giving two looks, two points. So everyone will get at least two points in this round. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to be giving two points to the even numbered looks being number two and number four. 
and I genuinely cannot decide between looks number one and three, so those will be receiving three points. And never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be using my tie on Lazy Susan, but here I am. <laughs> Period. Yay. We ate it, Eduardo. We ate it. But like mm -hmm. David. These are so these good. Look is so good. I know. I, I love this look that, that Susan sent in, too. Mm -hmm. It's really fun and dumb in the best it's, way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I've made my rankings. I'm going to go look. Hold on. Yeah, I know. I'm a little surprised though, because I'm like, oh, I ate with my choice. I oh, ate you did eat with though. My you choice. ate. I oh. love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You oh. ate. I was like, oh, but oh, the when I saw that pearl one, and that I was like, I know. Oh. I thought we were gonna tie Lana, oh. but Eduardo oh, so many good is so ones. good too. It's so yeah, so, like out of the box. So if I if I went to like a haunted corn maze and saw that, I would, saw that I would be scared. Where is Brooke with the sleep? paralysis demon <laughs> right can we add hey brooke can we add to the sleep paralysis demon count thank you thank like you. Yeah. i would have been so scared if i saw that but yeah oh. uh yeah no out of out of drag he kind of looks like madam madness hmm i can from see that. holland i do see that which is which is a type of individual that i do find attractive so mm -hmm. yeah you're right for sure yeah. um <laughs> yeah. that is where mine and david's types collide <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a Venn diagram and it doesn't really touch, but when it does, the, it's lazy right Susan in the middle. Lazy Susan. It's lazy Susan. Lazy Susan, the lazy Susan is right in that it's hole. Right right in lazy Susan and Madam Madness are probably right, the two right, there. right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Love that for you guys. All right. Love that for you All both. Right, Let's Susan. keep it moving. Lucina. Lucina Innocence. We want to talk about polish. What do you want to talk about? Okay. Absolutely. All right. All right. Look number one. Oh, how pretty. Look number two. Okay, mug. Okay, mug. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, mug. Can you look at that? Okay. <laughs> look number three. <gasps> pretty. Love it. And look, love it, love it, love number it. four. Okay, purr. Come on, upward stairs. Period. Step up, step up, step up. And period. I think she is so dang gorgeous. It's almost scary. Like, like you say, looking at that mug, it's like, girl, hold on, I don't want to keep looking. It's, it's really good. But I don't know. I find like she has this fashionable, like like you said, David, polished side with a little bit of an edge, a little bit of a grunge, a little bit of a something extra. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I feel like it's something just underneath the surface of this pretty girl that I don't know what it is just yet. But I'm very interested to find out what it is because I feel like she's pretty, but she got a, a bad girl in her that's like really ready to come out. And I want to see what that bad girl energy is giving in the season. So I hope, I hope we get to see it. Yeah. If I remember correctly in the Meet the Queens, she said like her big strength is hair and makeup. And I 100% see that after going through her Instagram. Like she has great wigs and really knows how to paint her face. But beyond that, like I think she has really good looks too. Um, I'm very excited to see what she does with a theme. If she has a certain category, she has to make her look match. I'm really excited to see her perspective in that sort of box. Uh, these are really good though. So I'm, I'm, I think this is a hard choice, honestly. Like these are all pretty close for me. Yeah, there, there are definitely question marks when it comes to Lucina and like what she's going to be able to bring when it comes to like the looks in a, in a category. Because we know that she's going to have great hair. We know that she's going to have beautiful makeup. That's what most of her Instagram is filled with. It's just, like shots from the shoulders up with beautiful hair and incredible makeup. 
I am very curious as to what, like, as you said, Lana, what lies underneath all of this beauty and all of this polish and all of this glamour. Because there definitely feels like there is something there. Like, there is a lot of, like, this dark, like, energy, but, like, this kind of, like, Elvira vibe. I don't know how to describe it other than, like, she gives me, like, Elvira, but blonde. Like, mm-hmm. she's so just So Ariana that. would not take a picture with her. <laughs> While Julie... <laughs> Well, well, you know, but yeah, that that's like she definitely has beauty, but there's some darkness in there that's really interesting, and that's what I want to see the most, and I'm interested to see that. Absolutely, I, it's just I just feel like it's the aura. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's something coming from her that I'm like, you got a inner bad girl in you somewhere. I don't know if she gonna bring it out, but I feel like it's right there. And I want to, mm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Logan, up to you. Right, scratch at it. I was gonna scratch the surface and see what it, what's, right. what's underneath yeah. that. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Right. It, it's just right there. It's just a level right beneath it. But scratch and sniff. Know. Scratch her. Well, I don't know if we would want to necessarily sniff. No offense, Lucina, but we know we, things mm. about drag queens that they don't always smell the best. Oh well, keep it moving. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, I would like to point out and just say immediately, blue is her color. And if she does not realize blue is her color, blue is her color. Um, with that being said, I have made some decisions. So, um, in fourth place, simply because of the composition of the photo, um, I'm going to give it to look number four. I just want to see the full dress. I just want to see the full dress. That's all. Um, in third is going to be look number three. Um, I like it. I want to see the full dress. That's all. Um, and I am going to do something I don't typically do, but my second place is actually going to be look number one, because I do love the nice feature of chair as, um, supporting actor in this photo. Um, I think it's really, really good. But there is something about this mug in look number two. I just cannot look away, and it's blinding me. So uh, look, look number two wins. She said, look over here. She said, she really look over did. here. And I'm going to I'm gonna look. Period. And, and and she, she literally was the one that said it. Period. <laughs> Come on, Lucina. She's, Lucina said, look at me. Baby. Period. Said, look at this. Look over here. And I have to because oh. maybe that. Can we go back to that one? Actually, Lana? Hold on. Uh, After you do yeah. your points. Yeah, I wouldn't go back to it. Okay. Like, I am so sorry, ma'am. 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 Ugh. Ugh. I almost cheated you, David. I almost cheated you on your point. <laughs> oh, well. I sure did. I almost gave it. What are your points? Mm-mm, oh, that is well. not your point. Look, no. that is not your point, Eduardo. You do not get that. Unfortunately, <laughs> there were no, no pictures of the full dress. Uh, well, also, you uh, said uh, for number three, you want to see the full dress. The full dress is there. Well, like, the, shoe. the dress is there. Where's the shoe? Okay. okay. <laughs> I want to see the full ensemble. How about okay, that, that's David? Fair. There you go. Would we like you're to just do mad because I? Oh wait, no. no I was I just confused. I I was like, okay. No, you're fine. Would we like to do a score, a halfway point? Because I haven't seen someone. Sure. Okay. Right now, we have a tie for third place between the queen. David and the queens. <laughs> and then Eduardo is in second place with nine points. And I'm in first place with 11 points. Fun. Work. Anything Work. can happen. Anything can happen. So we're gonna take you out, and we're gonna put you in. Mandy moves. Mandy moves is here. Everybody. Mandy moves. That's my. She's mine. And this <laughs> better be good, Mandy. Mandy. I'm just saying, Mandy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And after mm-hmm. going through her Instagram, like scrolling mm-hmm. back far and seeing non-drag pics, 
I don't think you have moves. I think this is appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> Move appropriation? Move appropriation. <laughs> no. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Well, wow. when we go through it, you can go look at it afterwards. And when, oh, yeah. and when on episode two of this season, we get a sob story about her being uh, overweight as a child, and she came over that, and now she and doesn't. Now she's uh, no longer with her moves. body. Then what, David? Then that's just her story. Then we'll talk about it on this here podcast. It will apologize. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, all right, Miss Moobs. Let's move it on. Move it, move it on. on. <laughs> move Ooh, it on. Okay. Luke, number one. Okay. Luke. Number two. Okay. Luke. Number three. Right. Right. And Luke. Number four. Okay. Work this moves. All right. All right. I'm going to say this. Miss Moves. Has a very popular picture on this one. One of these pictures was sent in by almost everybody except me. Because you knew and not to. <laughs> because I knew not to. Because I was like, everybody is picking this picture. I'm not going to say which one it is. I'm just saying okay. everybody sent in this picture. And some things had to be shifted and moved around. Because moved this around. picture was moved, moved around. around. Because this picture was very, very popular on this here day. But all right. I liked all of these pictures. I thought all of these pictures gave us a side of Miss Moob that I appreciated. That I really, really appreciate it. It's 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 giving me glamour, it's giving me streetwear, it's giving me holiday festivities. I'm mm. loving it. I'm here for it. I'm here for all the sides of Mandy Moob. Yeah, I'm with you. You know how like most like cities or towns that have like a drag scene, maybe not the like huge huge cities. They have like everybody has that queen. Like it's, this is our city's queen. Mm-hmm. I just got that vibe from her going through her Instagram. She just feels like, "Oh, that's that's the queen of the city." She just mm-hmm. has such a strong like powerful aura in all of her pictures. Like you can tell that she's she's kind of the favorite of everybody uh, in her town. So I'm I'm really here for her, and she has a nice range of of looks too. Um, it's another one that gives me like strong host energy, and I'm often drawn towards those queens. So uh, I I wanted her on my dra- draft team, but I didn't get her sadly. <laughs> you had the option, you had the opportunity, um, and you did but, not. I didn't expect her to get snatched up so quickly. <laughs> no, but it comes to, when it comes to Mandy, uh, her charisma just really shines. Just that's the way that I can best describe her. Just absolute incredible level of charisma, like off the charts. She is just like when we talk about charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. She represents the C, like capital C in charisma. Mm-hmm. Like, she is up there. She is so interesting, so fun, just so much fun. Like, she's one of those queens that I just want to hang out with and just have a super fun night with. She's just interesting and cool and has, like, such interesting perspective on drag. And I'm really curious as to how she's going to bring this into the competition. And I I really like her. I hope she does well. I really, really hope she does well. Oh, this is the part where I have to give my points, huh? Absolutely. Well, mm-hmm. I already used my tie. So you did. Uh, purposefully. I'm Absolutely. Saying. But I, uh, be- I believe I might have made some decisions. Now, mm-hmm. My fourth favorite on this occasion here today is going to be look number three. I think it is a good look. I think it is lovely. I just like the other three better. Mm -hmm. Um, My third place is going to go to look number four. Um, I like the look. Um, I, I, I like the look. 
that's really all I could say is I do enjoy the look. Um, my second place is going to go to look number two because we all got to love a good Christmas look. But this like Kill Bill cat suit, big hair situation. Yeah, that's going to be number one for me. Way to go, David. Yes, Eduardo, you had you got stolen <laughs> because but Chloe you know picked what? that. I'm happy. For Mandy. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you, you yeah. got more points. You, you should be yeah. happy. I know. It's like Chloe did both of us a favor. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Chloe stole, that is the look that both of them sent in. That was Eduardo's first pick. And then Same. Chloe sent that in. I was like, well, I had to snatch that from Eduardo because Chloe sent that okay. in. That's the queen's look. Mm -hmm. So the queens okay. overrule all of us. And so they take all of our looks if we have it. And that was Eduardo's second choice. And then that was David's second choice. And that was my yeah. first choice. And I got nothing. So there we go. <laughs> see, how we but, go. see how that all works out? And there's there's other like uh, close closer shots of this look uh, that Chloe picked for Mandy. And just like all the details on the face, like she's got like all the stitching going on her mouth. Mm -hmm. Like oh. I thought it was really cool. Like that's really good. It was definitely the one I wanted to pick, but I wanted to like submit like a collage of it because there's so many <laughs> yeah. different perspectives that really add to the whole. Uh, mm -hmm. But I love my look too that I I, I ended up with, and uh, it worked out for me. <laughs> it it yeah. really did. Yeah, like this look that we like apparently all chose. It just was something that I wasn't really expecting from Mandy. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. why I picked it because mm -hmm. I was like expecting like a lot of glamour, a lot of gowns, a lot of pretty things and like really mm -hmm. nice looks. And I got to see a lot of that, but I wasn't expecting this kind of short, like kind of spooky, scary, dirty look. And so I was really interested in spooky, that scary. perspective. Spooky, scary skeletons scary. and shivers under your spine. Ooh. Like, I, I was just not expecting that from Mandy, and so that's mm -hmm. why I picked it. But I'm happy that in the end I still got points. And I got more <laughs> points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's keep it moving along to Max, Max Draquin. Max Draquin. Period. Max Draquin. Look number Ooh. one. Ooh, all right. She just want to keep. She just wants to keep on dancing at the Pink Pony Club. Period. Mm -hmm. Look oh. number two. Okay. Right. Look number three. Ah. Uh. Look uh. number four. Ah, uh. I love. Baby, when I saw these pictures come in, I was like, yeah, let me put these in this order, in this way. Red, red, I blue, like blue. Give us the love. Give us. <laughs> just, it's just, I was like, oh, we just all go in there. We all go in there. We got our picks. We got our colors. And we just go all go there. I will say this. She knows how to take a picture. <laughs> she knows how to take a picture. And she gives you angles. She gives you composition. She gives you lighting. She gives... You look, I she she knows how to take a picture, and I it's love the ANTM that fantasy, right? Oh, it's the ANTM fantasy all up and through here. Every picture I could see on ANTM, like honestly, every single one of these pictures are America's Next Top Models, or like Australia's next, or top Australia's model. next top model because they did have one. They did have one <laughs> Australian next top model, so. I it's so good. It's just good. She gives. She eats. She knows what her angles. She knows what looks good. She knows how to, how to fix her body in a way where it's just going to give you the best picture ever. And I'm here for it. Perfect. Yeah, uh, me too. I I really like how she models all of her pictures and and is so deliberate with poses. I think that's so cool. Um, all four of these pictures were ones that I looked at and considered. Mm. Um, and I was kind of in a rush too. So I had to like quickly like, mm. oh, which one do I want? Um, but yeah, I, I think she's going to be very, very strong with her looks and her presentation. So I'm here for her and she's another one. I'm, I'm seeing her in the finale. Mm. Yeah, the fact that like I sent two pictures on, and the fact that both of them are here, 
I'm just so happy to see that. Like I, she is a model, like capital M model. Period. She knows what she's doing. She just is absolutely so beautiful. She knows what works for her and she just knows herself so well. And like the fashions are there, the face is there. Everything is there. Like I, David said it, I see this one as a finalist. Like Max could be a finalist. Max could win this. Like I'm so, so, so excited. She's like definitely mom. one of the ones. Yeah, just like her mom. She's one one of the ones that I'm most excited about seeing in the season. Like I have high expectations and I think she's going to meet them. Mm-hmm. Per. So these are all really, really good. Again, shocker. I know. Um, I'm just going to do my rankings very quickly. And I don't really want to say that I dislike any of them because I don't. Um, But first to last, my ranking is going to be 2, 3, 4, 1. First to last? Yeah. So my favorite is look number two. Second place is look number three. Third place is look number four. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Two. Mm. Sorry, Chloe. Well, <laughs> well, just the composition of that photo, David, is what sold it. Mm. Absolutely. Because I, because all of these looks are so good that, like, just the comp, and then Eduardo, the composition of yours is good. Lana, yours is also absolutely incredible, and the one Chloe picked is shit. No, I'm kidding. It's really good. <laughs> um. She knows I'm kidding. Yep. Is she even gonna watch this video? No, I'm kidding. I love you, Chloe. If you're watching, hey Chloe. Hey. The funny thing is, um, I submitted the one Eduardo had, but yep. it was already taken. So I was like, thumbs down, David. Yeah. Pick another wow. one. <laughs> but the reason I went with number two was not because of the actual like what she's wearing. Like I like what she's wearing. I was just so into the pose. I was like, it's well, the yeah, no, the composition of this photo the is composition incredible. Is, ooh. Yeah, when they came, when the you put, when you good. said, I was like, God, no, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I was like, Oh, that's gonna be tough to beat, and I don't know which one I'm going to pick. But then I saw that picture, Eduardo, that you sent for your second shot, which was the one that I ended up picking because I was like, I really like that, I and I was hoping that too. Uh, it was really good. It was really good, and she had some different ones, some other poses, but I felt like that one was the best one. But mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. so good. This is just good. Max knows what they're doing. Max knows what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, You're a model, baby. Nah, Speaking of models. Speaking of models. Speaking of models. Model. Speaking oh, of baby. Models. I'm just, I don't need. Okay, Logan, just get ready. All right. Um, and I'm, uh, it's, it's some frustration in my voice because I'm frustrated <laughs> because I Me too. did not pick first. But yeah. Me too. We'll, we'll, go. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go. Because, ooh. Look, no. Oh, one. okay. All right. Look, number two. Ah. Uh, Look, number three. Okay. Look, number four. Mug. Period. It's. It's, it should be a crime to look so good. It should be yeah. unfair. It should be illegal. She should be locked up and thrown in a cell for this. Because it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank God Lana does not rule the world because pretty people would all be in prison. <laughs> but it would be a pretty prison. Like, True. it would be the best prison ever. Like, no. It's, <laughs> it's just it's unfair. It's unfair to us normal people who don't look like this. I'm just like, I don't look like that. But no, she's stunning. She's absolutely stunning. Her, her face card just never declines. I'm sorry. She has an unlimited um, account, uh, just unlimited resources for her face card. It's just never going to decline. Yeah, She is probably a model. Well, she's definitely a model. She's. We just said Max is a model. She's a model. Capital M, period. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have to say, 
she's a model in and out of drag, like mm-hmm. stunning mm-hmm. out of drag. Mm-hmm. So good looking. Like this is the closest I've ever been to be like, ooh, let me pick one of these out of drag looks because man, they're they're, they're looking nice. <laughs> but uh, still, like these are stunning. Like she's got a beautiful face. She knows how to pose. She's got a great body. Like even like. If you think about it, like the looks are not the parts that are jumping out the most from from these photos. Like the looks are still good, but it's just how how she embodies the look, you know, like how how she just channels her energy while wearing them or presenting them. So I'm very into her. She's another one that I'm kind of thinking might make it to the finals. Are you thinking everyone's oh. making it to the final, David? Um. I think I've named four people, and there's going to be four finalists. So you well, you probably know maybe my Maybe there will be three this that. season. You never maybe. know. They could change it up out of nowhere. They did it last season. True. I mean, I guess so, yeah. But... It's Michelle's maybe. house now. She can do... Maybe they're the top seven going into... <laughs> who knows? Lord, I hope not. At that point, just do non-eliminations. Just do non-eliminations at that point. Uh, but when it comes to Nikita, like David said it, model in and out of drag, like it's not fair. It's not fair. You cannot be that pretty both in and out of drag. You have to pick one pick because one. <laughs> at this point, it's unfair. Because like I want to look this pretty both in and out of drag. Like this is like so pretty and so attractive out of drag like every, like she's just otherworldly beautiful like she yet again model capital m i just she is so so pretty so good at taking pictures yet again like i said model absolute model the face the hair i'm just excited to see her and i just need to see her like every single day of my life. Like mm-hmm. I'm so excited to see her. And and she said in her Meet the Queens, she's like, what's wrong with being just a pretty face? And I was like, well, but now I'm like, oh, actually you're right. <laughs> you're nothing. right. What's no, wrong? You, you're right. Actually, Absolutely you're right. nothing. Oh, you're right. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, I'm curious whether I have a gauge on what look everyone submitted and only one of you got. Um, I have mm-hmm. an idea, but... Mm-hmm. Um, my results, I, I, or I'm so sorry, I've made some decisions. Um, fourth place for me, I still like the look. It's just a little cluttered. Um, it's going to be look number three for me. Um, third place is going to go to look number four because the mug is mugging. But unfortunately, the other two photos are just really, really, really good. Um, my second place is going to be look number one um i think the the photo is cool the look is cool but number two is just incredible just incredible ah love good job david thank you good job david good job eduardo for stealing uh look number one before i could snatch it <laughs> it's just mm. so pretty so look and number like, one like, was the one that everyone was uh was pining over got it cool yep that's I what i thought so. yes yeah i mean i it's don't know just... about lana but yeah. no i mean i loved it i wanted i wanted it but yeah which one did you want the most the one. Oh, okay yeah that's the one i wanted yeah hold on i i, I messed up on it okay hold on <laughs> I gave your points to the queens, David. I'm trying oh. to give your points away. Oh. All day now. She's trying to give your points away. Mm-hmm. And she had, there were other versions of um, her look there in number four and their more full body also looked yeah. really, really good. Like I almost picked one of those and I was like, wait, no, 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 no. That's one she already picked. <laughs> So. All right, that that was the one I was. I was gonna pick that one. I was like, oh, she picked that one. Yeah. Dang, that's the body um, on the right one. She looks um, good. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely, she does. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. That makes it even better. I fixed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I fixed it. All right. 
Olivia. Olivia. Look, number one. Okay. Look, number two. Yes. Look, number three. Her. And look, number four. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right, Miss Dreams. She's, she's a performer. She lets us know in her Instagram that she is a performer. And she is going to perform. Now, I don't know how good of a performer she is. Because I didn't watch all the videos. I didn't watch the videos. I'm not saying it was bad. I just didn't watch it. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. The way don't you said know. it at first, though. I'm just, I, I, no, I don't know. Like, how good. I don't know how good she is. Yeah, I don't know how good she is. Because I didn't watch her videos to know. But Fair. I'm excited to see. I was looking for pictures. I wasn't watching videos. I was looking for pictures and valid and fair. So, <laughs> but all these looks are just different and pretty and showy and like she can come out of any bag she wants, and it m- might still be impressive. So I can't wait to see what she do. She's one of them people. She's like, I right, just watch, wait and see. Whatever the theme entails, she if, if she'll be able to hit it on the head, and I think she will because I feel like she has this. Like uh, she has a, like a cosplay kind of side to her, where she does some cosplays and she does she knows how to, you know, ham up a theme. So I'm ready to see if she can to, to if she will be one of those people to just match stuff really well. Just like here's the theme, here's where my brain work. Let's get it done. And I think she'll be fine. I'm excited to see what she does. I think she would be one of those queens to give us simple yet effective looks. A lot throughout the season, right. and I'm here for simple and effective. Nothing wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say nothing wrong with that at all. I love that. Mm-hmm. Love a simple and effective. Yeah, she's interesting because if you told me like these were four different people, I'd be like, yeah, I, I see that. because <laughs> yeah. they're just mm-hmm. so different from each other. Um, yeah, just completely different vibes. Uh, and I like that because I like I like to see range. But she was I I think she was the one that said like she puts on like whole productions, mm-hmm. um, in her city. Uh, and I saw that looking at the Instagram, like you can tell she's so involved in the nightlife scene, and she's she's kind of like the face of whatever's going on. So mm-hmm. I love that ambition from her, and I think her looks are very solid. I can't wait to see how that translates to the main stage uh, and her really pushing the boundaries of what she's going to present. I think it could be really cool. Yeah. I'm going to just mirror a lot of what, what y'all have said, like specifically with Lana, she's a performer and that's like the biggest thing that you can tell when looking at her Instagram, like there's a lot of videos of her performing that I also didn't watch because I didn't want to get spoiled. Uh, on like her abilities um but like there's a lot of like she's booked and busy and she like loves to perform and a lot of her looks are performance looks and like you just can tell that she loves being on stage and doing the damn thing and like she just like you said lana she really is simple but effective like Mm -hmm. everything Mm -hmm. is there everything hits where it needs to hit and everything is just effective and works and she looks great while doing it. So I'm excited to see that, but I'm also excited to see her elevate it and step it up even more. So like there's a lot here and there's a lot of potential. So I'm excited. Yeah, I David, I'm right on the money with you. If you told me this was four different people, I would have believed you. And I'm I'm very happy to see that from Olivia. Um, there's a, there's a level of chameleonic quality. Mm-hmm. That's a word I'm going with. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but you know, I like these a lot, but I have made some decisions. So, um, I like all of these. Um, uh, they're all actually fairly close. Um, but I am going to give my fourth place to look number two. Uh, my third place is going to go to look number three. 
My second place is going to go to look number one. And I just think this bodysuit is the whole situation on look number four is really cool. So my number one is going to be look number four. Agreed. Of course you do. Well, of course you did. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, yes, you do. Good job, Chloe. Good job, Chloe. Go, yep. Chloe. She I thought the good one. Look. She picked a mm -hmm. good one. For sure. Oh my These God, were all do we only good. have one more queen left? Which means we're we're done with Chloe. So Chloe, good job. Yeah, you, you came you, in Chloe. first twice out of three Thank times. You, so good Chloe. job. Right. Thank you, Chloe. Oh. No. Well, came once. In once. Yes. Yes. once. And second. And fourth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And Which last are all better but not places least. than she had on Drag Race Belgium. Oh, stop it. Mm -hmm. Chloe, you heard what you, you heard Chloe. what they I said. I love being a bitch to Chloe. <laughs> but I will say, it is very close. It is Ooh. very, very close. I don't want to know, but I'm glad. I'm to not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. But it's very it's close. close. Okay. And mm -hmm. I've just got to go off of the vibe. Mm -hmm. Yes, because literally. Anybody can win this. Ooh. But, oh, how delightful and fun. I anybody love it. but well, anybody but the queen. But oh, oh really? Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Everybody right, and I will say vibe was one of my like I think vibe might have been my second favorite Instagram to go through. Okay. So. I'm very excited then. All right. Mm -hmm. But any one of us could win. So let's I'm see very how this happy to hear out. that. Because that is the ideal scenario for me going into a final round. So yay. Look number one. <gasps> Look, number two. Ooh, okay. Look, number three. <gasps> Pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. And look, number four. Oh. All right. Well, y'all didn't make this last round easy. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is a lot. This is um. This is gonna be close, but all these looks are so interestingly good and different. And I, I, I feel like she is very much into like she can play a role. She can put on the costume. She likes putting on costume. She like she's a performer. She, she's the whole, she's giving me very hosty vibes. Like I feel like this is something that she does. She also stays booked and busy because there's a lot of performance uh, pictures. So she is also someone who is very booked and very busy, very giving us host, very performance. And like she's definitely done TV shows and all kinds of stuff. Like she's been on. She's been on. And I love that for her. I'm excited to see what she brings because I don't know if I was just like. I, we all loved her promo. We mm -hmm. all were we were all vibing with vibe. But then I her Instagram totally changed not changed for the worse but threw me off this was not what i was expecting when i went from the promo to her instagram but i was surprised in a very good way so i'm i'm vibe is very excited she's still a vibe i'm still excited for her i can't wait to see what she brings but this was good yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like the vibe on her Instagram is a little bit different than the promo because you get like glamorous woman from the promo, but you see a lot of range on the Instagram. Um, and it's a lot of like really quality performance looks. And that's kind of what I like to see. Like that makes me feel even better about her as a performer. Um, but yeah, I, I just was really into like everything, especially her face is so good in all of these pictures. So I'm really here for Vibe and I'm glad she's on my team. Work. Yeah, I'm super excited for Vibe. Vibe just brings some like very, like, like something really interesting and something really fun. And I just, she feels like this kind of queen that like she just has the whole like country or like a whole group of people just constantly rooting for her and wanting her to like get to like this type of level of like drag race like it feels like mm -hmm. there's just like when i look at 
her Instagram and I see the amount of people that she has reached and the amount of like, like mm. she's already at that level. Like, and I'm just so excited to see what like she's gonna bring to this competition because I think she can be one to beat. She is definitely like, she gives host vibes, like really good old school host vibes, but that she's clearly a very good performer. She's clearly very good with like, just with her charisma. Overall, really well rounded queen and I'm very excited to see it. Well, I'm about to make one of you really happy and two of you really upset. And that <laughs> pretty much tracks for my daily life. Um, okay. Fourth place is going to be look number three. Third place is going to be look number one. And suddenly right now, Lana knows exactly who might win and who is going to lose. And I love that. <laughs> um, second place is going to go to look number four, because I think the composition of the photo is cool. I can tell this was done at a Tinder event. Um, that did not influence <laughs> why I'm picking it second. I just think the lighting and the look and everything. And this wig. I don't even know what's going on with this wig, but I'm obsessed with this wig. Um, but my number one is going to be look number two. Okay. And this wasn't even my first pick. My first pick was look number one. I mean, I love it vibe. I would have liked to see the rest of the dress, but I do enjoy it vibe. It's very good. It's I very, very it good. Too. I love it. And I really like the snake skin like pattern on mm -hmm. uh, the look that I have for number three. That's why it's I picked it. really it. cool, David. It's just the other three I like more. That's fair. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm nervous. I am too, because I'm trying to make sure I didn't mess up anything. <laughs> should, we, should we take her away? Let's oh, yes. Yeah. Let's do go. that. There you go. Well, that was a very lovely selection of Instagrams. Mm -hmm. um, thank you to all the, uh, the Drag Race Down Under Queens and honorary Drag Race Down Under Queen Chloe Clark. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's gonna be an honorary queen on every franchise now and i love the fact that she's done what is this like the fourth or fifth instagram video for us and yet we haven't had her on the channel more than once i would no, love twice. to twice 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 i must say clearly twice. twice i forgot yeah Free. but we yeah, do I have about some... that day sometimes because she was stressed and therefore i was stressed no shade i love you chloe but we do have results Okay. In fourth place is our beautiful queens from down oh. under with 11 points. Yay. In third place is me with 15 points. Ooh. Oh. In second, in second place is David with 17 points. And in first place is Eduardo this is the first points. time I win something. Ooh, by one point. One this point. is the first time I win something. Look, you needed me to come in last and you to come in first. Good job. Good I job. love math. Yay! Yeah, I, was rooting, it started... I was rooting for Eduardo, to be honest. Who would have thought? I was here last minute. I was mm -hmm. at last minute. Yay! So you, this is great. You I came in so strong happy. at the end, Eduardo. Like, I started off strong, but then faded at the end. David was consistent in the middle and then had a couple of bumps. But you stayed consistent, and then at the end, you, you came out mm -hmm. strong. You did. So, yep, by one point. By one yeah. point. Congratulations, Eduardo. Yay. Yay. This would have been your second win if uh, I judged Thailand, apparently. Oh, that is full T. <laughs> oh, okay. Full tea. Well, let's, okay, so we you did it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> David, Lana, and I were on after the after we did the Thailand Instagram video, and we were like, "Well, what if David was here?" And because David was supposed to judge with Brandon, 
Yeah. yeah. I had messed up the order of things. And so I was just going to have David and Brandon do it. David ended up having to travel and the timing did not work. Mm -hmm. So it was just Brandon. But we were like, what if David judged? And the results were so incredibly wildly different. So incredibly Eduardo, different. Well. I, I, if I remember right, Eduardo would have won by like 10 points. He would have wow. won. It was, it, it was a pretty strong lead. I don't know that it was 10 points. But... Um, Hold on. Was, I have it right here. I, I think it was like five. Right Eduardo was see three, six, nine, twelve. It was gonna be Eduardo Logan. Twenty seven. You had twenty seven points, Eduardo. And mm -hmm. then Logan three six. Nine, it was like twenty or something, I think. Twenty two. One twenty-two. 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 Okay. Like yeah. that difference. Wow. Yep. Yep, and I was very much dead but last. I, David hated everything I did. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Me with Literally. Brandon. Me with Brandon, yeah. Nineteen. Literally. I had 19 points. I was like, yeah, that David hated bad. me. You hated that me. Bad, but. <laughs> but, <laughs> it was, but that was what it was. Eduardo. But, Eduardo, Eduardo. Right before your Lord. next... Before you judging... You, yeah, you finally. Can win before your next judging. Please give you. me some good fortune. Thank you. I did you a favor. Good energy. Good energy <laughs> Thank to y'all. You. This is collusion. I may or may not. I know, right? I feel. Picked, I may or may not have already put, picked all my looks for Canada. <laughs> I said good energy to y'all. Is describing all three. So good luck to y'all. <laughs> But that is that, y'all. We have done it. We have finished our Instagram for Down Under. That makes me even more excited about the season to come. And we're yes, going to be back. We are going to be. Oh, we have to ask the the, uh, the question that we always ask. What was your favorite look oh. of all the overall? Um, oh, oh, who had the beautiful gown, David? Who had the beautiful gown, David? The Black beautiful and white gown. gown David? Oh, the. Yours. Um, I don't oh. remember. Oh, oh, favorite. oh. It was this. Oh, was oh, Karna? oh, that was. Oh, Karna. that was, was Karna. Karna. Yeah. That was my favorite look. That was a good one. I think mine was also one that I picked, um, but it was for uh, Lazy Susan, the one where she painted her face to match like all the like pillows or whatever going on. Oh, yeah. No, her. I love it. No, it was, I thought so it was so good. good. It was so good. I think my favorite one was also my Lazy Susan look. Yours was so were, good. Did, did you have the bubbles or were you the horror look? The bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Per. Oh, no, that's really good too. Yeah. My favorite look was also the Lazy Susan's the horror look. So. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm glad that I picked someone other than Lazy Susan. No shade, Lady, Lazy Susan. But your, the looks were, hey, she got my tie. The looks were good. Mm -hmm. so. That's so good. But that is that, y'all. We have done it. We're going to get out of here. We appreciate you all sticking around, watching our Instagram. Let us know in the comments what you think was your favorite look. Who did, did do you agree with the judging? Did you think Logan got it correct? Let us know what you think, what you thought. What was your favorite look of all? Absolutely, you got it right. Um, thank you to the queen. Shout out to all of you who sent in pictures, and mm -hmm. to Chloe, we appreciate you so much for stepping in and sending in some pictures. We love y'all down under has always been very good to this podcast and we appreciate all of you so much for continuing the trend and being so good to us and and, and, and working with us. We can't wait for the season to start so we can shower you all with all the praise and give you all the good vibes. Enjoy this moment. You all deserve it. Um, we will be back as after the premiere to give us our, our first premiere night thoughts and, 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 and everything. So we're excited. We hope you're excited. And, uh, Hit the subscribe button if you are excited, like we are. Hit the subscribe button on this and the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Hit all of our links in the description below to all of our other channels. Subscribe to all of them. We appreciate you. We're trying to build our network, so subscribe to all of our channels as well. Our audio podcast links is down there as well, so if you want to listen to us on the go, it's down there. And our Patreon is down there as well. Join our Patreon to get some early access to all of our look over here, including this one here, and all exclusive content across all four channels. Also, if you just want to give us a super thanks, we haven't asked for super thanks in a long time. Ooh. But give us one if you want to. I got so excited. The you super know? thanks almost ruined Lana. It, sometimes <laughs> it happens, but no. If Your you mic says, don't super, bring that up. <laughs> don't bring that up. Absolutely, I'm bringing it up, microphone. I'll don't knock you down that. again. 
super thanks are great and we appreciate those who've done it and we appreciate those who want to do it just know that button is always open for you as well as our socials at look up pod on instagram twitter and tiktok and then all of our you know socials are down there if you want to follow us as well any queen who wants to follow us we're down there period and my instagram is right there so and don't forget your merch don't forget your merch at lanagiscreations.etsy.com so cheers y'all we gonna get out of here good night cheers, cheers.